Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue talking about equivalent fractions, and we're going to talk about how we can represent one whole using different units. And different units, friends, are just those fractional units. So fourths, fifths, sixths, halves, thirds, those good units, okay? So our learning goal for today says, I can express whole numbers as fractions and recognize equivalent fractions with different units. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are just your dry erase board. So make sure you grab that before you get started. All right, friends, so the rectangle is one whole. How would we partition it into halves? Yeah, just draw a line right down the middle, right? So let's label each unit fraction. So my first half of my rectangle is one half. The other is also one half. So let's make this into a number bond. So here I'm gonna draw a circle to represent one whole, right? Because that's my whole. And then I have two parts. So I'm gonna take my fractional unit and I'm gonna go whoop, and I'm gonna move it down into one part of my number bond. And I'm gonna take my other half and go whoop, and move it right down to my number bond. And this represents one whole. So we have two halves to make one whole. I'm going to leave this up in the corner for us to reference. So we're going to partition the number line into the fractional unit from our number bond and label all the fractions. Okay, so here's my number line. You're starting at zero for this one, by the way, friends. You're going to pause the video, partition your number line into halves, right, because that's what's shown in our number bond, and then label all of the fractions. And then I would like for you to put a box around the fraction that represents one whole. Okay, so pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so we're gonna split the uh, number line into halves, but first we have to label zero and one because that's my starting and ending point. Split into halves would be here. Zero is represented as zero halves. And then we have one half and two halves. And then I place a box around two halves because that is one whole. Okay, so two halves represents one. Okay, so two halves is equivalent to one. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we're gonna draw a number bond as indicated by the fractional unit. I say that fancy word indicated because that's what it shows on your problem set. So I want you guys to be familiar with that. So friends, all that's saying is it's gonna tell you a fractional unit that's labeled or indicated on your problem set. So here is my number bond and thirds is your fractional unit. So pause the video, write the unit fractions that represent one whole in thirds and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here we have one third, one third, and one third. So we have a total of three thirds. So now we're gonna model this again on our number line. So partition your number line into the fractional unit from our number bond and label all the fractions. Also, you're going to put a box around the fraction that represents one. Okay, so pause the video partition into thirds, and then draw a box or label, and then draw a box around the fraction that represents one. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so I'm going to split and partition my number line into thirds, which means I draw two lines, okay? Because remember, anytime you're dividing into a number, you need to have one less line when you're doing that. Also, friends, remember it's so important when you're working with fractions to write neatly. And you want to try and have equal spaces in between. When I've been looking at some of your work, I see that you're having your thirds are like super close together. You need to spread them out so you have space in between. The intervals, like from here to here, need to be the same as this number or this line to this line. Okay, you want them to be as close as possible to being the same. Okay, so we have zero thirds represent zero, one third, two thirds, three thirds, and three thirds 
is equivalent to one. Okay, did you guys get that too? All right, whoop, whoop, good job. All right, let's look at another one. So here is our number bond. You're gonna draw your own number bond as indicated by the fractional unit, which happens to be six. So go ahead and label the unit fractions that represent one whole using the fractional unit of sixths. Pause the video and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here we have one sixth all the way around. So we have six one sixths to represent one. Okay, so again, you're gonna model this on your number line. So partition the number line into our fractional unit from our number bond and label all the parts and draw a box around the fraction that represents one. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, zero and one are, are starting at endpoints. We're gonna split into sixths. So we would have five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we'll label zero as zero sixths. One sixth, two sixth, three sixth, four sixth, five sixth, and six sixth. Okay. And then six sixths is equivalent to one as we go through and look at those. Okay, so good job with that one, friends. All right, nice work expressing whole numbers as fractions and recognizing equivalent fractions with different units. Okay, so go ahead and um, head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.